I've heard it said over this past 10 months, we're all in the same boat. My observation has been that simply this isn't the case. It appears to me that while even the storm exhibits different intensities, depending on where one lives, the veracity of the virus, and the whims of local politicians, we're also in very different boats. Many of my friends have been able to work from home without losing a bit of income. In fact, improving their quality of life by ditching the commute time, fuel costs, etc. Others have been furloughed and run through their unemployment benefits, although it appears new rounds of help could be on the way. The restaurant industry specifically has been hammered with draconian restrictions if they haven't been closed entirely. If you own a restaurant, for example, and you're allowed to be open, you're probably limited to 25 to 50 percent capacity. And your rent didn't go down 50 to 75 percent. You might be able to cut back on electricity and food supplies can be smaller, but you're still covering a lot of overhead. And the wait staff? Well, they're gig employees who rely on tips to feed their kids, fuel their car, pay bus fare. Think about it. They'll work the same eight-hour shift serving 50 to 75 percent fewer people. How do they keep their boat afloat? How? We whose boats are secure and pressing on can tip heavily. I'm usually a pretty hefty tipper, 25% average. Here's what I've been doing since last summer. In my hometown of Webster Groves, Missouri, there are five or six small independent restaurants that we frequent on a fairly regular basis. I don't remember where I heard it last spring, but the idea struck me as both gracious and useful all at the same time. Double the bill at these establishments. $6 coffee and bagel, here's 12 bucks. $20 burgers and salads for two, here's 40. First, for some reason, our government decided that to print money and give us an additional $2,400 last spring. My doubling routine certainly hasn't cost me anywhere near that windfall. And I'm on vacation, again, benefit of being semi-retired, and I find myself in small towns. My minimum tips here have been 50%. Why? Their boats, owners or waitstaffs, are not as secure as mine. My program can be of value. Next month, the rally season kicks off in a small town in Michigan, followed by an event in a small town in Missouri. I urge all my rally family to consider doubling the bills at all their local haunts, where hopefully we get to sit and eat and enjoy our family of crazy racing folks, small cafes, coffee shops, anywhere somebody has to come along behind you and sanitize your table. Believe, I believe if you could afford a national rally weekend, you can afford to leave an extra 50 to $100 in town. You might ask, who gets the money? The owner or the wait staff? I would say, what difference does it make? Both of their boats are being tossed about. For this argument, it appears they can be in the same boat. And while I'm at it, hire a local musician. Think about what they've lost. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.